Welcome to Entropy Resin's tutorial on surfboard laminating and hot coating. Part 2, Hot Coating with SuperSAP Epoxy Resin. In this demonstration, we'll be using our CLR epoxy system with CLF or Fast Hardener. Prior to beginning any laminating project, we suggest reviewing our epoxy mixing and handling tutorial for best practices in epoxy resin use and safety. Visit entropyresins.com for more information. For the best hot coating results possible, resin should be applied at temperatures below 75 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll begin by prepping the surface of our cured lamination and keeping it free from oily fingerprints that could create surface blemishes in the hot coat. Create a mechanical bonding surface for the hot coat by lightly scuffing the cured lamination with sandpaper. Then remove the sanding dust with a clean, dry brush. Be sure to wear proper safety equipment to protect yourself from fiberglass and resin dust. Finally, you can take a clean piece of masking tape to remove the remainder of the dust. At this stage, you'll also want to open up any trapped air bubbles that got caught underneath your cured lamination. Next, we're going to apply a thin paste coat or squeegee coat of resin using a plastic spreader to help fill in the texture of the fiberglass. This paste coat also provides a smooth base layer for the brush hot coat to follow. Once you have a fairly even layer of resin in the paste coat, be sure to come back and remove any drips from the bottom side of the rail and the board. Finally, wait for the paste coat to set up or go tacky before applying the next brush coat. For the CLR system with fast hardener, this is typically an hour to an hour and a half after mixing. Once the paste coat has gone tacky, you can apply your brushed hot coat. If the paste coat is allowed to fully cure, you'll have to sand it back with sandpaper to create a mechanical bond for the hot coat. Use a clean, dry brush and remove any loose bristles. Pour a bead of resin down the center of the board and follow with your brush using light to medium pressure. Use long, continuous brush strokes from tip to tail, working from the center of the board out toward the rails. Once the entire surface has been coated with resin, come back and apply cross strokes at a 45 degree angle to the center or stringer of the board. Cross strokes are used to help even out your hot coat, but just be sure not to whip the brush too quickly so as not to introduce too many air bubbles. Finally, using very light pressure, apply finishing strokes from tip to tail, again, working from the center of the board out toward the rails. Then, after your last brush strokes, you can go back and using a hair dryer, pop any trapped air bubbles. Then, allow the resin to self-level. Once the deck side is fully cured, we can hot coat the bottom. Start by sanding down any resin drips that have cured on the bottom side. Be sure to wear protective equipment so as not to breathe in any uncured resin dust. Lightly scuff the cured bottom lamination with sandpaper so as to create a mechanical bonding surface for your hot coat. Then remove any residual sanding dust with a clean dry brush or wipe down with a clean rag and some denatured alcohol. Apply a masking tape apron around the perimeter of the board at the apex of the rail to avoid getting resin drips onto the deck side. A speed edge can be built up by applying the tape higher than the board surface at the tail. 
Similar to the deck side, we're going to apply a paste coat or squeegee coat before applying our brushed hot coat. Lay down a thin, even layer of resin, ensuring that the resin gets into the tape line, and then allow the paste coat to set and tackify, but not fully cure. Once the paste coat has set, apply your brush hot coat similar as we did the deck side, starting from the center out toward the rails, moving tip to tail, then applying cross strokes to even out the resin. Then apply your finishing strokes from tip to tail, moving out from the center of the board out to the rail using light pressure. Trapped air bubbles can be released by using a hair dryer on a medium setting. Hot coat should be applied within 10 to 15 minutes after mixing the resin to allow enough time for the resin to self level and give a smooth, glossy coating. Be sure that the resin has fully cured to full hardness before sanding. 